All righty. Good evening, everyone. It is 529, calling the Historical Commission to order. Recording is on. Yes? Yep. Yes. All right. Um, Elizabeth will be absent this evening, so for our quorum, we will need our newest mm -hmm. member, Jean Yonker. Yonker. Can you pronounce? Okay. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Chief? Welcome to the commission. I'm a former alternate, now returning as an alternate. Lifelong resident, life and education, and historic member of the Playoff Preservation Trust, friends of Playoff City Hall, and friends of Playoff's Historical Cemeteries and Monuments. Welcome back. Thank you. Glad to have you back. <laughs> And do we have any public comment? You got to do a what do we? Roll, call. roll call. I'm sorry. Okay. You want me to go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. All That's right. right. I'm moving right along. Oh, okay. it's totally fine. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. All right. Olivia Mazel. Here. Joseph Mazzola. Here. Elizabeth Rodriguez. She will be awesome this evening. Luis Salazar. Jean Jonker. Here. Chris Gauthier. Gauthier. Here. Okay, so we're going to go right to item four. We have public participation presentations this evening. Um, and you're 348 Chestnut Street, correct? Yes, yes. Do you want to present? <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Good evening again. Is there a place to you? <laughs> you can sit if you want. You can have a mic. <laughs> to have Don't be shy. Yeah. I'll start and then hand over the hot seat to Alex. Okay. Um, roll out of the way here. Yeah. So thank you for having us. Just as some background uh, or introduction, I'm Steve Huntley. I'm executive director of Valley Opportunity Council. We are uh, in the process of redeveloping the Voces de Esperanza project up on the corner of Chestnut and Franklin Street in the Churchill neighborhood. Um, we've come before you probably a good dozen times to ask for letters of support, and we're at that time again to continue applying for the state historic tax credit resource. Um, so that's that's the purpose here. Alex is here because he's on, on the on the ground a few times a week to to update you on the projects, the real the real activities that are going on, and the construction is underway. If you've driven by, you've seen the windows boarded up, the new historic windows are going in. I'll let you do the talking because that's really all I know. And then we have uh, the big five story building on, on Chestnut and Franklin. That's the historic building. And so we're, uh, we do it, we're doing brick pointing. And it's, it's, it's really interesting. It goes through all these, we have a historic consultant and all this goes to the state as well. So. They were matching the historic mortar, right? As they clean it all, wash the building, uh, scrape it out to really see what the what the mortar originally looked like. So we have different samples to, to all the yellow brick, the first floor, all gets 100 percent repointed with with you know the the, the um, soft line one. Yeah. So so well, it's 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 uh, it's modern mortar, but you know they're they're trying to mix it so it really has the you know, the consistency of what was there. Um, the same with the red brick, 80% of the building as a whole gets repointed of the red. So they were mixing samples to make sure that the new mortar really, you know, matches the old what's there. Um, we rebuilt the wing walls where we got new yellow brick. Um, it's interesting, it goes through the whole process to really make sure that all new items really match mm -hmm. what was there. So. Uh, I'm in the bodega on the corner where the where where the old corner store was. The old tin ceiling was really in bad shape. Came down, so the new tin ceiling is being matched. There are actually custom molds being made so that the the new tin ceiling matches the old tin tin yeah. ceiling, like exactly they say. So it'll be uh, very interesting to see when when all that comes back. Um, on the back, we started on the porches. So it'll all get new railing and all, and that that, that hasn't happened yet. Um, on the townhomes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's some CPA money in that. Um, we'll have the first tenants move back. The uh, 
May 1st. Wow. Right. So two units right. are almost completely done um, in the in the larger building. Um, I think right now it's slated for May 17th that the first tenants will move back into the 48 Franklin. Then we'll go around the corner and we'll do 348 Chestnut, the stack there. And then they will move back to the end of August, beginning of September. So we're on our way. Okay, right along. Uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be until probably the beginning of next year that we're uh, particularly working on, on on the large building. It'll be in three phases, but uh, it's very exciting. We're, it's, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. And we surprise it left and right. <laughs> As always, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, more than we necessarily would like to see, but it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, little by little, all the historic elements, the, 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 the banisters on the staircases, you know, they had originally, I don't know, that you often see because they don't need code where they put, you know, the, the metal railing to right. be intact. So, actually, what we got back from the historic commission was that they want the old ones raised, intact raised, and just a piece put in between you know, at the bottom. So you don't really, you know, it, it, yeah, it, right. so a lot of work, but right. you know, that will, that will start happening too. So I have no doubt that once this is done, it's gonna look fantastic. So we're really excited. Can't wait for the tour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Could you tell me your first name again? Alex. Alex, okay. I'm sorry. Jansen. I'm with the Valley Opportunity Council on Record Operations. All right, so you're looking for a letter of support. Um, we have written letters in the past. Is it something, just an updated date and signature without yeah. a fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, it can be the exact same letter, just updated to okay. a new date. Or okay. When, when that, since the state tax credit, right? It, yeah, it goes three times a year and we just put package together. Okay. Uh, so we keep applying. We've received 1.35 million. We're hoping to get the 1.6 million. Okay. Um, this resource, at, at, I don't know, really bailed us out as costs escalated because we could keep applying because this amount escalated too. You know, typically you apply for a grant, you're awarded the money. This you can keep applying for. As long as you have eligible historical basis to apply for it. And so with the cost of windows went up, okay. so did our basis. So we could keep applying for more. Okay. So it allowed okay. it allowed, it, it allowed us to deal with these crazy cost overruns that you know have been out there. Everything went up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What what do you see in the, the, the percentages? Or I mean, is there is it just all over the board? I mean, the increase in yeah, it, it seems it seems all over the board. It, it, it's uh, I mean, the, what we get back. So it was it was bid and there was some buffer, um, you know, some protection in there. But then they came to us with you know overruns, um, you know, metals, wood, roofing material. Um, yeah, those were you know really high end. And then the the lead times, which really kind of killed us. The windows were forty two weeks out. Wow. So, it's like when we found out we were already too late with ordering, it's like 42 weeks, right? We have people moving back. Um, now, luckily, once we, so we let, we released them without having all decisions made or without having all the sign offs, and we're like, you know, get it in, get it in line. Mm -hmm. You're not starting producing until, you know, week 12 or 16. So, we were able to, uh, it's not pulling us up, but definitely impacts the schedule as well. Okay. That's incredible. If you were to drive by, you, you can kind of see the the. Ordinarily, they bring you a unit at a time mm -hmm. window, so yeah. you can do one unit, and, right. and you'll see random boards over windows because right. they bring right. you what they bring you. And you're happy to get it. <laughs> you, get you, get. Get. you don't get upset <laughs> like you used to say our kids. Very true. Still holds true today. Awesome. Does the commission have any questions? Did you mention the former? Formerly, it was Nueva. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Nueva Esperanza? Formerly Nueva Esperanza did the development. Okay. Okay. And the, the tour is the 20th? There, there is a ribbon cutting on the 21st that I okay. think I meant to invite some of you, but with the transition, I'll apologize if that didn't happen. And, uh, 
It's certainly uh, April 21st. April 21st. Okay. Week from Friday, mm -hmm. 10 a.m. Uh, come on by. We'll, 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 we won't have the historic unit fully done, but we hope to have one of the non historic units fully done so you can see the finishes and the sense of that. It's all flying by the seat of our pants, trying to coordinate a ribbon cutting two months out to get you know, the mayor's yeah, schedule right. and everything right. Right. and delivery of the things that need done and installation. Yeah. It's all it's all a little bit of a wing and a prayer. Yeah. Um, the cabinets are delayed and the stair treads are delayed. So without the stair treads, we can't finish the top floor because they might help against the stair treads and the thing. It's, it's like, you know, yeah, it seems like more now than ever. Um, yeah, and it all impacts the schedule and, you know, you know, but so we come to Chestnut Street? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Right on the intersection, Chestnut Franklin. Right on the intersection. Yep. yep. Perfect. Welcome. 10 a.m. Okay. So I need a motion basically to update the current letter um, with a current date and the current signature. That we update the letter. Signed it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call. Is that sufficient? Unanimous. Unanimous. All right. Moving right along. Sure. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'll out to you very soon. Yes. All right. Back in. Well, okay. 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 After back in. I will be there Friday. Yeah. Thank you all. No, thank you. All right, next we have, it's the 275 Bank Street and the other six, sorry. I'm not sure if there's a waiting room. There's no one in the waiting room. Um, would Bill or Trinity be the correct people? Or no? Um, Bill actually would be yes. Bill will allow you to be. That's what he was still there. Oh, hello everybody. Hello there. Uh, yes, I'm here for Wright's Block, so 106 to 120 High Street. Yep. Um, I, I know there's another High Street item or a couple on the agenda. I just wanted to clarify if that's the correct one. Right. Hey, Bill. Um, um, I have you on the agenda basically to rewrite a letter that I put in the wrong address. No, they keep saying there's two. There's so two. that's yes. the next one. It's under yeah, the abundance. Yeah, there's an agenda item for 276 High Street. So I, I think that's um Alex and Harrison's building. Uh, right. Yes. So no one's here for this. We're one. Not here for the okay. 276 High Street. So okay. do you guys want to just yeah. move on? Yeah, we can move on then. Let me text. Yeah, sure. They both said they would, one of them said they would be here. Can we move to item four then while we're waiting? Is that since Bill is here, we can move right along? Yeah, he was, right. should be able to. Is that okay with everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay, item four is correspondence letters to be redrafted. Uh, we have three properties that would like to reissue letters with updated date with new signature of a date and share for the historic uh, mass credits. So Bill, if you wanted to go ahead. Yep. Yeah, I just unmuted myself here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we were just going to update briefly on the, the state there. So we did get our National Park Service approval. Um, and then uh, so that, that happened, I think, a couple months ago since the last time they went to the commission for the letter support. Uh, but secondly, we got awarded the CPA uh, grant through City Council, uh, I think, last week. Uh, which we're very excited, very proud of uh, the city for approving. Um, so we're we're getting our ducks in a row here. Uh, I think we have one more source of funding that we are applying for this summer, uh, but it's uh, critical for us to get the the mass historic approval this round, uh, which we have already had approval or comments back from them uh, from the last round. Uh, so our historical consultant is expecting an, an approval this uh, this round, which which will be great for the project. Um, I think the letter 
as written before was sufficient, uh, obviously with the, the change of chair and, and any other, uh, I think the CPA language, um, since it's approved now, maybe should get reworked. Okay. Commissioners, any questions? And I did send that, that's in your uh, packet. Yeah. And uh, uh, Chair Gothier, um, I think the other question too is on the, um, the preservation restriction uh, next steps after the CPA, if that wants to schedule maybe for an upcoming meeting or? That would be great though, yes. We can, we can get through that, yes. Would you like to be on the agenda for the next meeting? Uh, or, yes, uh, yeah, depending maybe. on what Jennifer's schedule is. I, I don't know um, how soon usually these documents start getting drafted if uh, she needs more prep time. Let me get through the letters and then I can talk to her about the, the next step. Okay. Would that be all right with you? Yes, we'll, we'll, okay. I'll be available uh, when it's convenient for folks. Okay. Okay. So can I get a motion to reissue a letter with an updated date, new chair, and we're going to do some minor uh, language changes? I make the motion. Can I have a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. All right, Bill, we'll get a letter out to you. Uh, Excellent. Oh. Got a question, Bill. Uh, yes. What was the amount of money you were uh, awarded from CPA? Uh, the uh, full request, so the 250000 250. Yep. Okay. We'll put that in. Okay. That too. Okay. Thank you, Olivia. Am I going too fast? <laughs> <laughs> fast. <laughs> We're just looking at the letter you passed me. If it didn't really announce. Where did Tom? Where did Bartney too? I don't have this. Yeah, I can do it. I can keep going until he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the next letter we have would be for the Russell Osborne building, which is at 245 High Street. And that should be in your packet as well. And they are looking for uh, the same information, just an updated date and the new chair. I make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous vote. Okay. And then can, the, I, can I have a question? Most certainly. Um, yes, at the end of the it, it seems to be a, a conflict here because at the end of the, the last paragraph. We're at the 245 High Street. 245 High Street. Okay. Yeah. She in her day week. Let's see. Um, the, the commission recuses itself, this is the last sentence, from making any comment on, on that part of the restoration, which must follow contemporary gold regulation offices and medical facilities. Oh, well, I see. Did the commission would like to express it? Well, uh, okay. I thought it was, I thought it was uh, not worth it. Yeah. But uh, we, we don't, we don't, what, we, we, even, we don't, we don't, it doesn't matter if it was on the side. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So, that's something I should. Uh, you could probably. They'll just eliminate. Delete the last. Yeah, the last because paragraph. they support. I mean, that's the best building on the right. Well, one of the best. One buildings. of the best. Yeah. This one is open. All right. Do we have to vote on that again? Vote to amend my motion to. Include editing that section. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you need a password or anything? For... No, it's a waiting. I did send him. 
I sound like the wrong one. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, we'll go to the last one and the far alpaca mill. And that should be an account. And that's the same thing an updated date and signature. They're not presented anyway. No, no. The only two with that I tonight were just the, the Franklin and the 276. So, motion to update <clears throat> the date signature? Yes, for the Faro Alpaca. Second. Second, sir. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Hi, Alex. My ear, I'm very sorry about that. Hey guys, no worries. Joseph uh, let me know, and I was like, "Oh my right. god!" Did I? <laughs> so I just tried calling everybody, and then I had a little panic attack, and I'm here. Well, we got you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. um, so I um, I'm not sure how many others will be joining, but um, unfortunately, I was not able to get Harrison or. Uh, my attorney Doug from Epsilon on. So I have a, I've got a bit of the information, but if there's some specifics, I apologize. I'll have to answer some of those on a follow up. Okay. It's, this is also going to be a letter of support for the mass historic tax credits. Are we waiting for it? Yes. Do you remember the last letter that we had written? I do not have that on hand. Um, I, was there a, a letter that was written previous to our ownership? Because I don't believe Doug or anybody on our team has the original letter. This might be their first time. I'm not used, I'm sorry. You want to do a no, if you want to present, and I'm sorry, I don't, you are correct. I don't think we have written a letter. Um, is this something you maybe want to uh, present to the next meeting or present now? Do you need it? I mean, is it time sensitive or? It's, it's relatively time sensitive. Um, just truth, truth be told, uh, after we, uh, I should have set a reminder to do a follow up email since we didn't it didn't hit our calendar I think it just fell kind of um it kind of fell by the side so I'm I can pull up a set of I can pull up a set of you know architectural plans and, and walk you guys through the vision but I don't have a, a formal presentation prepared that's fine that would be okay yeah okay Give me just a moment so I can pull them up and then I will uh, work to share my screen. Shakola. Did you spell that? Sure. C like Charlie, W I A K A L A. Okay. All right, I'm gonna work to share my screen. Um, one participant can share at a time. Share. Okay. 
Can uh, can everybody see this okay? Yeah. Wonderful. So these are some conceptual design plans that we have for the building. Um, we're working with Port One, who is our architect based in Boston for this. We've done a handful of projects together uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, we do not have a completed structural set yet. Uh, that's not necessarily required for the for where we're at in the process right now. So that'll be kind of the second leg of um, planning and development prior to a building permit submission. And uh, depending on how some of our financing uh, lines up, this building will potentially get done in phases. Uh, because of the large nature of the project, there are certain uh, costs that are required that you know are required for the entire building envelope, but floors one, two, and three might not see any immediate benefit. One of those, for example, is the elevator. Uh, to renovate that is, is potentially a, is a, a half a million dollar project in itself. So uh, the way we see this is at the moment working in phases, going uh, floors one through three to start, uh, and then upon stabilization, potentially uh, refinancing into a second loan to complete floors four through eight. But I'm, uh, I'm happy to share some of our concepts with you. Right now, uh, we're looking at doing a kind of uh, tapas higher end dining establishment on the first floor. I've got a uh, general partner for, for this project with approximately $26 million of direct restaurant management um, with cuisines and kind of cultural, uh, uh, everything from commercial, um, you know, uh, lots of T's crossed and I's dotted to small fine dining uh, American small plates. So really excited. And then that, that will have a, uh, a bit of a nightlife component. So our goal is to bring some nightlife and, and high end uh, venue activity to Holyoke. Uh, and one of the reasons we're really excited to do that, uh, it's always been a dream for our general partner uh, to own his own restaurant. And it's always been a dream for, for me to have a nightclub. So we're going to work to combine it and uh, essentially turn this into a buzzing, awesome spot that is attracting people from, from all over the state. Uh, floors two and three, we will most likely build those um, as we find tenants. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that white box ready um, and then essentially build out. So if we've got, you know, a, a government department that wants the whole floor, great. If we decide to chop it up into 10 smaller commercial spaces and, and do like an artist coup up there, that would be great too. Uh, so floors two and three, we'll kind of play it by ear and do a little bit of market research as we get closer. Uh, and then, uh, Oh, here is the uh, design plan for the restaurant and venue. So uh, there's two sets of doors on the front of the building, uh, one that's kind of recessed in. So when you walk through that, you'll be greeted with a, uh, a nice high decorative wall. That'll be your hostess check-ins uh, area. And then when you walk into your right, there's a, a, a beautiful 30 foot by 20 to 23 foot large wall. Uh, we've, uh, we've, been, we've identified a couple local artists uh, that we'd like to turn that into a, a statement art piece wall. Um, you know, there's a handful of venues around the world that you see on Instagram over and over and over again, because the art is so cool that people want to take photos with it. Uh, so we're hoping to try to bring that uh, to downtown Holyoke. Uh, so that'll be your waiting area. And then we've got a bit of an open concept uh, style restaurant. So you got the bar with seating directly in the middle. Uh, in the back right of the, of the uh, building will be bathrooms, dishwashing, dry storage, back of house uh, you know, operations. And then we're actually gonna have somewhat of an open kitchen that you can see into. So more of a presentation kitchen that's very clean. Uh, to the left is uh, in the back, we've got a raised stage. And then we've got uh, a handful of seats for dinner service, those will ultimately actually get put away underneath the, and stored underneath the race stage to create uh, a general admission um, dancing area. And then at the back of the building, which is really the front of, or excuse me, at the front of the venue, the front of the building, 
uh, we've got some raised VIP lounge area. Uh, so that will also double as dining space for dinner service. This is the layout for the second floor and the third floor. These are pretty much the same. So as you can see, you got this big L corridor that's, that's wide open. You've got a small office uh, on the right side of the building, as well as two restrooms, one for males, one for females. And then the restaurant will have a management office at the back of the second floor. And then on floor three, it now turns more into a U and all of that will be available. Any questions so far? Very interesting. Cool. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm very excited for this project. I actually, I actually saw this building for sale like three and a half years ago when we were just getting started. And I looked at it and I said, what a beautiful building, but it's too big. There's no way. And then about a year and a half, two years later, we got some confidence. We had some success in Holyoke and we were like, okay, we can do this now. <laughs> And it was still for sale. And then we uh, we ended up actually fighting for it. We were a backup offer, but we ended up getting it. And uh, pretty much the profitability of the entire building um, kind of hinges on on some of this tax credit relief, to be honest. And but we just saw the building and we were like, this is a gem. There's no way something will get done to make this building. We'll make this building win. So we just wrote an offer and figure it out, we'll say, we'll figure it out as we go. But we're very excited to be at this stage. And um, there's a lot of passion and love going into this building. So cool, back at it. So this is floor number four, um, right here where my mouse is kind of hovering. So that's gonna be your elevator shaft. So people will get out and then they've got essentially two bedroom units on the front and the back of the building. And then the there will be two units kind of tucked in the middle of the building and those will each be one bedrooms. So these will all be well-designed, charming, um, you know, apartments that have modern layouts and designs very similar to what we would have done in a condominium project in Boston. So these should feel really nice. These should be quite luxurious for downtown Holyoke and, uh, yeah, everything will be brand new. So that envelope is essentially copied on floors five, floor six, and seven. Um, but floor eight is pretty cool. So we're keeping a lot of the, you know, the same initial, but there's going to be staircases in each one of these units. Since we've got really, really tall ceilings on the eighth floor, uh, these will get turned into loft apartments. So exposed duct work, they'll be very charming, uh, a bit industrial feeling, uh, but these will be these will be great. These will be awesome. And that essentially is uh, is our plan for the Prudential. We've we've made it through. We submitted we submitted for historic. Um, federal approved tax credit. We did our application the first round. They came back with some requests and revisions, a um, couple odds and ends. The one I remember the most is they wanted some more detailed photos. We're gonna be going with, um, I believe it's an Anderson historical uh, grade that's essentially copying the original um, and they wanted some measurements. But yeah, so we're, uh, I think we have until it's somewhere towards the end of this uh, month before we'll resubmit with all the revisions they requested. Alex, uh, could you speak to the elevator? Yeah, sure. Can you uh, can you speak to the elevator? Are you moving it? No, because no. Because it's the old the old shaft is small, right? Yes, I, there's going to have to be a bit of there's going to have to be a bit of retrofit uh, to make it ADA compliant, uh, which is why it will be one of the more expensive line items on the project. Yeah, we're 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 interested right now. 
the building can almost by right make sense, renovating floors one through three, and then getting and then working to get heavier financing once you can do the rest of the project. Floors one through three, you could you could get away without doing the uh, elevator to begin, but um, yeah, you're you're really capped at after after floor three. Anywhere you could use the the back stairs as a more space for the elevator or that or that's a whole nother bottom. yeah that's yeah i think that's that's uh that's probably not. a bit uh I, I think it's a little too early to tell to be honest uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, okay some of some of those discussions really won't be finalized until we're um until we're in uh um the engineering phase um yeah and I, I believe we might be able to get away with retrofitting this because it's as is and existing. If we change the door, uh, if we if we change the door position on the first floor to allow for wheelchair access, um, it's been discussed that we may be able to stay within the original envelope of the. Um, but like I said, at, at this moment, that's that's not my expertise, and it's a little too early for me to to know definitively. Okay. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the facade? You had something said something briefly about the windows. Windows. Yep. So the facade will get um, some of the the decorative molding that's around the top. That will all be repaired um, and kept intact of of its original design. So we'll make it look as as uh, as original as possible uh, to keep that integrity. All of the windows will will be essentially designed to look like the originals they'll be double pane and they'll have um you know they'll have like wood um wood trim to 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 take care of the original pane look uh they won't they won't be they won't look like cheap uh vinyl uh and then the the rest of the building will get repointed so it'll go through and masons will work through you know essentially every brick and uh repair and restore a lot of the masonry. And then probably the, the only thing that isn't necessarily exactly confirmed because I believe they're gonna let us maintain that addition that was added to the structure. Um, you know, the part with the, like the steel, the etched in flames. So they're, they're gonna, I believe, let us keep that addition but we will dress that up, that facade to something a bit more classic. Um, something that fits the exterior of the building, uh, but we won't be painting any of the brick. We'll be cleaning up the rough brick facade on, um, on the right of the building, but everything else will be maintained to, to, look, um, to look original and be original if possible. Is the right side of the block structurally sound that exterior wall that used to be, they used to abut another building? Yeah, that's a, that's a party wall that was, um, that was a party wall that was attached to the old other building. So yeah, we're that building is that building is very, very solid. What are you doing for heating and air conditioning? Um, so there's that's a little bit up in the air as well. We were planning on doing the entire building um with a with electric uh heat pumps, like mini split heat pumps or something of that um, nature. We were also discussing doing um, the restaurant and the venue on the first floor that way. And we'd called a meeting with a handful of um, local leaders, one of them being from Genie. And there was concerns that they wouldn't have enough power to power the entire building with electricity if all the utilities ran on it. Um, so there may be, by necessity, some gas brought into the building, but we were planning on using electric pumps for all of the units, a mini split style system. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, uh, well, we've been looking at this building for years, years. 
I was in it a long time ago and the molding at the top was flapping in the breeze and going like, oh, please somebody take care of it. So um, good luck. Um, looking forward to uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else told me, they were like, I heard you bought the Prudential. I said, yeah. They said, why? And I said, what's wrong, I said, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? I, you? You need fresh blood. Thank God I'm here. I'm so excited to do this project. I can't believe that sat for so long. It's, it's a gem. It's gorgeous. Whenever I show well, it, whenever I show it to anybody, they're, they're blown away. It's a gorgeous building. It's gorgeous. And, you know, there used to be a uh, Salvation Army on the first floor back in the day. And it was it was just uh, such a cluttered, uh, depressed uh, view of that of downtown in, in downtown how Holyoke. Was how, how long ago? Yeah. 80s, uh, 80s, 80s, late 70s, 80s, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The so interior stairwell is gorgeous. Oh yeah. yeah. It's yeah. metal, I think. I think we might need a tour. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, Olivia and I hiked the eight flights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Hey, we can do it. We can do it tomorrow or Wednesday if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> it'll be uh it, it'll be a wonderful bright spot uh, and open up that area and be I like the the dance and the venue and the it's exciting. It, yes, really yes, exciting. yes. I know we don't have any. We can't piss off any neighbors. It's literally perfect. <laughs> it's literally perfect. And I was like, that makes sense. Put two floors of commercial to dampen the sound for the residents. Perfect. It just it's <laughs> like everything is just coming together for this. Okay. So can we write a letter of support? Without, we need a motion. Do you no, need a motion? Yeah. But I mean, do we have enough information to oh, raise yeah. the interest? Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, okay. Yeah. Can I get a motion then? I make a motion. Write a letter of support. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> um, do we have to wait? Wait. Have so to she wait comes yeah. back. Okay. One second. We have to redo that. <laughs> Is this hard? We voted to write a letter. Do we need anything else? Unanimous. Unanimous. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wait, oh, who made the motion in the second? G. 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 In the second? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. A letter will be forthcoming, my friend. Thank you so much. And let me know if, I, seriously, if you want to do a tour. Tomorrow or Wednesday or sometimes next week, we'll set it up. Okay, that would be great. Maybe next week, yeah. Yeah. Next, maybe next week. Can we do next week something maybe? Sure. You want to you want to set it right up. now? Yeah, I'll text you. We'll coordinate. Cool. Sounds good. Great. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. That's exciting. <laughs> wow. No, sorry about that. I think I got two. I did. Okay. All right. The next item on the agenda is to draft a letter to City Council on the previous chair. Yes. So, um, first, I would just like to thank all my fellow commissioners who volunteer. Uh, to be on the historical commission, you know, um, regardless of what is said online in public forums and in other places, obviously all of these commissions in the city are volunteer. A lot of them, people take their time and regardless of experience or education, I think it's very important. Um, I think these boards and commissions are what help our city go round. Um, and so in regards to this, I think, um, you know, there was a petition uh, by the former chair that was sent to city council. Uh, it is going to, I believe, public service. Um, and then we'll probably go back to city council. So I do think we should draft a letter um, just, you know, to say, hey, we're chugging along and in support of Mayor Garcia and our decision to stay with OPED, mm -hmm. I think, it would be a good thing just to kind of 
have that on record. Right. You need a motion? Yes, yeah. I need a motion. Yeah. <clears throat> so I make a motion that we write a letter to city council in support of the current uh, commissioners and their continued success with uh, the planning, economic development, and, and uh, working with Mayor Garcia and the city in general. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I was possibly thinking that I would drop a letter. If there's anyone on the commission that would like to say anything, anything more, yes, no. Yes. When do you send your annual update to the city council? Don't you send an annual update to the city council? Um, um this commission hasn't typically done that. But it could be something you guys could begin to do. You guys could do it at the start of the fiscal year or whenever you guys feel like you have the most updates, whenever it works for you guys. If you want to pick a standing point in the year where you guys could do a quarterly update, whatever you feel. Um, that's new to me. I don't know anything. Um, that that sounds great. Um, I do think just specific to this situation, a letter might, a specific letter might be good just in case it goes back to city council and uh, I think we don't know kind of where this is going to continue to go. Um, so I, I just think maybe something specific to this situation might be helpful all the way around. Is there a way city council is aware of the situation? Yes. Yeah. So, so the petition it would clarify things. Yes. I think it was yeah. 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 Yes. And then we can we can uh, do we send minutes to the city council? You guys have yes. just started doing this. Yes. Yeah, previously that wasn't something done, but since Chris has been chair, you guys have been sending Same all your minutes, minutes. to council, okay. including okay. all the minutes, I believe, dating back through July, I believe you guys caught up. Oh, and those have all been so. submitted. Right. But if you guys want to send this letter, letter to be at the next city council meeting, when you vote, you'll need to vote to allow the chair to execute it before it is seen at your next meeting. So you would have to, you know, describe the language you would like Chris to include now and vote to include that language. Or you guys could have it be, you know, draft it between now and the next meeting. It depends on whatever you guys feel comfortable with and would like to happen. I think just a very generic letter would suffice. Mm -hmm just what yep. your thoughts exactly. And if you'll give me permission, make a motion, I'll write the letter and then we could have it ready for the next city council mm -hmm. and be done. If I can get a so I'll amend my motion okay. to have you draft the letter okay. and um, and then bring it. It'll go right to city council. It'll go to, right. To, so exec okay. execute the letter and it, it goes to city council. Okay. okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Next item will be the review of meeting minutes for August 8th of 2022. Uh, Jennifer's been going through the files. They were actually accepted but not approved in our most recent meeting of March 13th. So, uh, I don't know how you want to do this because I was, I think, the only one here <laughs> at this point at um, that period of time. I have a question. Yes. Number six on the, it mentions the North High Street District uh, right. National Historic District possible development. Mm -hmm. CHI um, Universe wants to extend. I, Sorry, Olivia, where were you again? Number Where's six, like, number six. So this is, um, I believe, Waters Health. The Waters building? By me. Right here. Not it. For that health center he wants to go to. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, That's further down, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's way further down. Yeah. It was a nice place. I just didn't understand what that was was happening in that. It's so long ago, I don't know what to 
Yep, that's it. Three oh two. Yeah, because that's it abuts the my back alley. So it's three oh two to I believe three twenty-two. It's all three of those buildings. So it's um a gentleman who wants to build a big health and wellness center in the old people's bank buildings. And they presented oh, yes. okay, okay. Uh, you've seen that. Yes. Uh no, I haven't seen it, but um yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. And C H and C H I is the is that that's the name of the door, I believe. Yes. So mm -hmm. the, okay. Yeah, that's the okay. name of their business. Okay. We have a motion to accept those minutes and <laughs> yes. Did I make a motion? Okay. Is that just for that one set, or are you yes. doing this as a package? Yes. One set. Okay. And then we have our uh, March minutes. So let's finish with our August minutes. Second. We made a motion. Second. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Okay. And then we're going to go to the last meeting of March 13th. And we still have, um, I think uh, Jennifer said the recordings will start next month with a new company mm -hmm. that was going to do a trial run. Show me a little yes. bit about it. Okay. Yes. So I think Olivia, one more month. Okay. For meeting. For meeting. Okay. All right. Did everybody have a chance to peruse? Mm -hmm. Yes. March? Do I have a motion to accept? I make a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Congratulations, Commission. We are actually completely up to date. Yeah. Really? Right? I think I believe that's completely up to date. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do we have to do anything on the computer? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Thank you, Thank everyone, you. for that. Yes. Okay, item six. And um, Blue Sky Tower did respond to address uh, the Mass Historical Commission. It was actually a 70 something page document, but I just forwarded the letter. I thought that would suffice. If any of you wanted the complete file, I would be happy to forward it over to you. But they did several pictures, mostly throughout. It, a lot of it, majority was, was chicken meat. So. Any questions? No. Okay, item seven, uh, discussion for liaisons for the CPAC and the problem property groups. Okay. Um, I did attend the last CPAC meeting. Um, Megan is looking for someone. I'm volunteering myself, but okay. if <laughs> someone would like to take over that role, but there is also, uh, we've talked a little bit too about the problem property groups. But that is a daytime, and that is going to be difficult. The problem pro the it's property good. preservation group, re they're rebranding their name. Oh, um, okay. uh, property preservation group, I believe okay. it's third Thursdays, third and it's typically a 10 30 a.m. Yeah. meeting or a 10 a.m. Um, and, and it's typically an hour and a half to two hour meeting. If that helps you guys. Where who it's here. Um, it's me and John and Aaron and the Board of Health, the treasurers, um, the community development office. Okay. Yeah. That's two okay. for you. Is that okay? You sure? Okay. Be busy. <laughs> Good. Do we need to make a motion for that? Oh. I make a motion. <laughs> that. Joseph, Joseph takes, um, represents the commission on those two committees. Well, I'm going to well, do. No, he's going to do. Just for one. Just for one. The other one is still. CPA. Not, Chris is going to do CPA. CPA. That's okay. okay. Or do you want it? 
No, no. One on them all? Two, one for you. <laughs> make a motion for you, too. Okay. So it would be two separate. Okay. So make a motion for Joseph to go uh, and I'll represent the commission of the CPA. C? No, it's the sorry, other one. It's the other one. The other oh, one. Problem properties. So, okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Which is, what's now the new name? Property Preservation Group. Property Preservation. We thought it sounded more positive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, we, uh, we need a second. I'll second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. And then I make a motion for Chris to represent the commission at the CPAC. Second. Um, can I actually add something to what you guys were discussing, or should yeah. I wait until new business? Yeah. Um, the Tourism Advisory Committee also had, did you, you guys already appoint? No, because um, Jennifer was supposed to send me info on that. So the um, I staff the Tourism Advisory, and they oh. meet, um, it's typically once a month. Um, they've been doing uh, joint meetings with Elcors on the last two meetings to work on the Beyond Walls update together. Um, so I don't know if you guys have started that, but I don't know if you supported on that. Are you all speaking or not? Yeah, like okay. I think I'm, okay. I'm down. You're okay. You have, this is... The bylaws for that group are on employee.org. Cool. If you wanted to read through that, or I can send you any materials because I'm working on the next right. agenda. When are those meetings? Okay, so the next one is the Thursday. Yeah, no. We need to so second one. One. <laughs> no, we Oh, we got Joe. Joe seconded. Uh, oh no, I mean travel after that. I'm right in the middle of <laughs> the city. I seconded for Chris. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, all in favor. All in favor. Uh, Aye. And now, now I have a motion for Joseph tourism to represent the commission on the travel advisory committee. Tourism advisory. Tourism. tourism. <laughs> Second. That's, uh, uh, me. Uh, all yes. All Aye. in favor. Aye. Aye. Unanimous vote. Okay. And you said that's this Thursday? That's this Thursday. I can send you the information. Great. Just okay. um, set a reminder. Okay. I mean, does it does it have to be <laughs> us like attending? Say if I can't make one, I mean, does it does it have to be that specific body? Do you know? So I know at least for PPG, it's not an appointment. So any one of you can take turns. That's totally fine. Tourism advisory is an appointment. Okay. Um, but mayor. yeah, it is cool. like um, the historic commission gets to choose who from is their representative, but that is yeah, a okay. designated seat. It's it reserved on that um, committee for the okay. historic commission. Okay. And we'll go through all Perfect. that. Perfect. Okay. All right. All righty. Uh, our next is an update on the meeting with the building commissioner, and that was with Jennifer and yes. Joe. If you would like to fill us in, Joe. Sure. So it was a super quick, really great meeting. Um, Jennifer and I met with Kevin uh, just kind of to discuss some of the stuff that, you know, he's new. Um, so some of the stuff that we've put forth in terms of restrictions, uh, demo delays, and how he would kind of like to go forward with that. Um, who oversees if we put a restriction on something. Um, as he's new, and obviously we're all understaffed and overworked, um, I think as these things come up, especially with the um, restrictions, they will be so few and far between as we do them. Um, he said he would be more than happy to kind of oversee that. Uh, I think we would just have to kind of send him a little note and say, hey, this is what we're doing. Um, maybe we make it a packet or something we can create, I think, whatever mm -hmm. we would like in terms of paperwork, um, unofficially, I should say, paperwork. Um, and I think he'd be more than happy to kind of, if they go out and do an inspection, say, hey, X, Y, Z, this is supposed to be there, this isn't, and just kind of give us a little email or report back. Mm -hmm. And that was really it. Um, it was good to touch base with him and I think just kind of make him aware of what we're doing and what we hope to do in the future. It's it's good to just stick your face in every once in a while. Just FaceTime, a is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. because right. it's we know staff change, people change, mm -hmm. and things kind of get lost in the shuffle. So 
it's good to keep up. Was he within another department in the city or brand new? No, he was in the He's in the building. In the building. Yeah, he okay. just it was in another office. Okay. Okay. That's great. He moved to the corner office. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. Our next item is the historic plaque update. Olivia, would you like to? I'm talking in <laughs> in conversation with the dean, okay. uh, uh, the principal at dean, and uh, he's very enthusiastic. He's like so eager to to get uh, his students involved. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. So um, uh, we're working on it. Okay. <clears throat> so I, you, we have the plaques okay. that you that we yeah. had from last year. I'm so. Sorry. And in the, in the packet is the old form. So at some point in time, we have to re update the form, okay. maybe put it in Spanish yes. And, yes. Uh, and put um, and have one of us or or the commission in general uh, respond. We actually, uh, Jim uh, didn't want to take on the response. It, didn't have the time to research mm -hmm. the the uh, um, each house that mm -hmm. asked for a plaque. So mm -hmm. so we asked them that they provide two documents to justify. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see when we get okay. into it. Okay. <clears throat> so that was, that was updated when I was an alternate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So there's some 2016, fifteen. Like yeah, right. fifteen, sixteen. So there's we we do need to verify their work. But not, but hopefully not into too much detail. So they'll have the right. I'll talk about that in a little bit because we might get um, Shannon's help with an another thing. So okay. Talk. But just very briefly, we did have a very quick talk with Erin, um, getting Dean Tuck involved, giving the proceeds back of the house plaques to Dean Tuck. That would be some good publicity for yes, some type of fundraising to get back to the school. So we want to get this uh, going. They, uh, the, a little okay. bit of the issue is that they they have vacations and they have summer right. <laughs> summers off. So, um, but we only do. We can work with that. It was you know. how many packs a year? It right. It, it's not a it lot. Wasn't many at all. Right. Many. So um, yeah. So it's in the works. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see. Item 10, report from commissioners attending other boards and committee meetings. Meetings, Excuse me. Does anyone want to go ahead? Since you're joining all these boards. I know. Huh? <laughs> Ask me at the next one. <laughs> right. We can do that. Yes. <laughs> well, we should mention that we had a great dedication. Yes, it was. Yes. City Hall, Probably. well attended. And I, I, I thought I... Felt a lot of good vibrations. People were happy. They were, and there was food. It was nice to see everyone actually come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like just yeah. Every department's people. I just it was really. Good. It, was, it, was, it was good. Very cool. Yeah, it was nice too to see the local businesses with the food and uh -huh. fame and great. How was the food? Great to leave. Yeah, it was good. Cupcakes. Always cupcakes. Cupcakes, yeah, cupcakes, cupcakes, cupcakes were great. great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Okay, we'll go on to new and old business. Uh, there was just a general email I got from the mayor that the hybrid and remote public meetings will be extended by the governor until 331 of 2025. Um, Girls Incorporated is going to be offering tours of the Hamden Street location. They would very much like to see the historical commission. So I don't know if we can maybe coordinate something um, together or like that. I don't even know if we can do that, you know, if we have to go separately yeah. as a forum. You uh, guys can go together as long as you don't discuss it there. Reason. You don't discuss commission business on okay. the floor, you can all go. Okay. Or if you guys wanted to have a do discussion, you could do it separately in groups of two. Okay. Whatever it makes you guys feel more comfortable. Okay. Um, you got the uh part of the historic preservation plan from Mass. Mm -hmm. 
that will be coming up down the pipeline. Um, I don't know if that's something have we previously offered advice or have done anything with that. I'm not exactly sure. No, no. It's out there. It, yeah. It, oh, it's a draft. Yes. Their goals and objectives. Be happy if we want to talk about that another time. That would be yeah, fine. maybe the, can we bring it up at the of course at, at the next sure. I don't see any problems, but I didn't really have a chance to look at it. No, it's fine. Okay, Josh asked me, asked, excuse me, asked me to reach out to Shannon Walsh. Um, we had a really good conversation, uh, basically talking about a budget for next year with the city. Um, bear with me, no, I can't find the email, sorry. This was presented to Josh. I didn't send anything to the commission because it's just kind of a preliminary type thing. Um, but there are two planning assisting uh, information that she sent. The first was a $10,000 design guidelines. And that would be basically for any type of support, providing uh, analysis for the commission, demolition, delays, research, uh, history of the significance of a building, uh, what else? And reports. The second is a $30,000 estimate, and that would be to develop the Polio Historical Commission design and guidelines. Mm. And that would be working with the building inspector, OPID, residents who live in a regulated or unregulated historic buildings and developers who want to invest in Holyoke, architects were planning projects, et cetera. So that was presented to the mayor um, and that will go into the budget and we'll see where that goes. But I did talk to him very briefly and he's kind of putting a heads up. I don't know where mm -hmm. <laughs> no, or... That's the process for expending the funds and the ethical pipeline. Didn't get that far, <laughs> I just asked for money. <laughs> but I imagine, you know, this will be something I think Fairfield could use, you know, your area, you know. Thank you. So maybe this will be something that will help pretty much anything historic in the city. So cool. Um, that was it. Yeah. Any questions? As soon as we know, we will, I imagine, hear more on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, the next item, the Commissioner Mazel's project of the training manuals. Yes, the voila. <laughs> I, I just kind of start, started at the top of the pile. Okay. And um, so we design however you want. Um, I noticed that there's some demo stuff that I didn't put in because... Okay. Demolition is part of our, is a big part of the, mm -hmm. the commission. Um, so there's Robert's rules. There's okay. plaque information. That's the old, the old uh, plaque information. Mm -hmm. uh, preservation briefs. So, which um, is from uh, Rhode Island, Newport, Rhode Island. So they have a long mm -hmm. history of preservation. And so, I asked them, I said, can we use your stuff? And they, it's by all means, they we have permission. So there's more things in there that I, but I didn't want to overload us for the, for the first time. And you send this all to Trinity and she can make a folder in the Google Drive. So okay. We have it digitally as well. Okay. Great. And then there's a, the last part is the historic tours that Bob Como gives. Okay. So pardon my scratching on there. There's a, 
if if at all possible, um, he, he's very uh, detailed and precise about his tours. Mm -hmm. um, so he's a good source of information and he does a lot of research. <clears throat> and he's working on the um, Mount Tom Golf Course and Wyckoff Park. There's uh, 21 people already signed up for that tour. Yeah, so he he's, he's, he has a good a good turnout. He has an entourage that okay. that follows. Yes, he does. Yeah, so yeah, people will follow him. Where where are you going next? <laughs> so he's been around the Wyckoff Park what, three or four times, walking okay. just walking it, and and going over the script in his head. So he's um, he's yeah, a good source. He did, he focused on Olmsted. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's more things in there. I I, I didn't at least make it your own um, and add whatever you need to or whatever sources or there, if there's other things that we need to put in there like the demo information and some of the things that are on the website. I just, it's just so when we have a public hearing we won't be like deer in the headlights. Like what are they talking about? No. You know, so we yes. can we can say, wait a minute. I've got it right here, you know, yes. So, so it's to save, to, to help us and present us. And so we're not somewhat knowledgeable about what we're talking about. And That's we don't have to know it all. Us, we just, we, we, we can't know it all because it's, it's so much. And Lizbeth has been waiting for this. Yes. This yeah. So, uh, yeah. And she was, uh, and she was uh, during the parade. Uh, she walked the parade uh, on St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. So, cool. uh, and she has quite a following too. So, mm -hmm. everyone, she she knows yeah. somebody on every yeah. block. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. yeah. So, so now, Olivia, how do you want to keep this up to date? Is this going to be a group effort? I don't think we should just have, you know, everybody just kind of, well, you see, know. Right? Um, we or just maybe bring it up and I think I if know. it's in the Google Drive, mm -hmm. I think that makes it one accessible to everyone. Okay. Um, and two, as we sort of add to it, I, do we need to like vote to add things to it? Or I don't think so. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So then, as we decide to add to it, we can just put it right in okay. Google Drive, and it'll be there. Okay. Um, if there's something you think we need, sure. You know, mm -hmm. just bring it. Any one of us could bring it okay. to okay. six or seven copies. Right. Okay. If you guys need things printed here, you can always send it before an in-person meeting, and we can Perfect. have seven copies sitting okay. here. Yeah. Guys. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Olivia. Yeah. This is yeah. awesome. You're welcome. Very You're excited. Welcome. Should I hold that on for Elizabeth, or is that something you can hold on to? We can keep it here, unless one of you guys is going to see her and wants to. But we can keep just put our name tags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. Yeah. You guys want? Uh, need to address. Yes. Okay. That's happening. Okay. Um, speaking of Trinity, it has been, we're just not driving. Um, just the times to talk. Sure. Um, she's here. Her schedule. Is she here? Yeah. Do you guys want me to ask? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I walked off for a bit. I am Hi, ready. Trinity. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to talk a little bit? Yes, I can. Okay. The floor is all yours. All right. So I looked through um, the drive a bit. And so I don't, I don't really want to move stuff around too much because I'm sure the way it's in there is how people have put it in there. There's a, there, it makes sense. But I guess my sort of main thing while looking at it was trying to make all the files more searchable. I think that would be Kind of a big thing and so creating a uh, a file name convention was my idea where um it 
if the date is necessary, it could start with the date, do an underscore, the project name underscore, and then more details about the project, just as much information as the file in the file name as possible so that if you want to go find something, you don't have to go searching through a bunch of folders. Um, you can kind of just type it into the search bar and it comes up. Would it be helpful if they were organized by address or just labeled by address? This is where it's just been I, so right. disorganized. Right. 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 So if any of you have any to thoughts me. about just from my the way my brain would work and everyone else may feel completely differently. Like the name of a building to me, like the rights block. I don't right away know what the address of that building is. So I think if they were address first or the address was easily searchable, I think that's easier. I think it makes more sense to go by the physical address of the building than necessarily the name of the building and or the project name, but that's just me. Okay. I don't know how everybody else feels about that. You've been working with yeah. the tribe. I mean, what do you? I would suggest having street address and project name mm -hmm. because, like, for example, some of these properties, right. you're going to get a lot of demo requests over the years for like 195 Appleton. It's not going to have just one public hearing, it's not going to have just one inquiry. I think that would be what I suggest. I think also as new people come in, just have that, whatever system you guys decide on, just have in place because you know there's a lot to turn over. Right, <laughs> right, right. Because so I, I think it's a definitely a thing where every new person does a filing system. So having right. one that's just standard practice I don't, is a great idea. Do you find the date important? I don't. I do think at a minimum a month and a year is fairly important, especially if like in that example I gave of there's been multiple demo hearings right. for one property. At least being able to search a year is really helpful. Okay. But that's just me. This year. No, I agree. Mean, you just need some order. Yeah. I mean, what about, uh, have you had a chance to kind of look at the files that there's nothing there? It's kind of just empty space. Yes, I, I did see a couple of those. <laughs> so some of the files um, sort of out in the initial drive could probably be put into folders. Um, it seems like a couple of misplaced things, but overall, I I definitely don't want to move stuff around too much because then <laughs> it'll be hard for everybody to find it. That's um, so I really want to focus on just making all the file names as searchable as possible, putting as much information in there. I think that would be great. Great. Yeah. We should also just for macros for the purpose purpose of macros they have a code um h l y uh yeah. so yeah. it's so that's how you find properties in macros if you know the code uh so like the right block is mass historic commission h l y 180 so you can go boom right to that in macros uh city hall is 101 so if, if I'm looking for something around um, in the city, I think we, I, it, so I always go to city hall and then I, and I, and, and I search the map and go, go around and figure out, cause this is it's kind of like the starting point. So, so you're looking more as, as so as I think we, that needs to be in Part there too, because okay. names change right. and That's why addresses are, sometimes fall off yeah, the buildings right. yeah and um and this is this is another way to identify it it's, it, um it's not it's it's another way that mass historic identifies the properties so that's put that in the mix too okay Trinity, can you add that to the mix absolutely um and i was thinking i could do i could just choose a folder try it out and see see what people think. I don't want to impose my own standard of organization on it. Um, so we're looking for organization at this point. Right. So I think <laughs> it would be very beneficial. Yeah, I think as long as they're all exactly uniform, right, then that to me is organization. Right. All right. Great. 
proceed ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I have to bring this to the board as well. Uh, Commissioner Salazar, Salazar, I'm sorry, I'm first pronouncing his name again. Sorry about that. Has missed uh, the last three meetings. I don't know what we do about that. With no um, no communication communication of any sort. Would you guys like go ahead to call or send some emails or check in or I whatever you guys feel comfortable with? An email and a phone call. An email and a phone call. Yeah, yes. we can have that come from uh, Jennifer, or Aaron. I'll see whichever one of them. Okay. Is available. Um, and then you guys just want an update after and that. And report back to us. Does that work? That is in our bylaws, I think. Make a motion. Right. That she reach out, the office reach out, and um, have a discussion regarding his standing on the commission. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Um, would you like me to just email you after if we get a response? Um, or just wait till the next meeting. No, uh, let me know. Yeah. 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 And I believe his um firm is up in October. Yes. I think that's all I have. Does anybody Great. else have anything to bring to the table? Peter, I don't know if you wanted to talk a little bit about the email that you had sent to me about the um, historic home restoration program, or is that more if you want to? Which email was that? Um, the lady that you were talking about. Da, 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 let's see. Preservation Mass Directory. That would be more of these since we were talking about. Do you want to leave that for the other board? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Our newest alternate. Sorry, Our newest alternate. Any questions or anything for the board? <laughs> Welcome aboard. Make a motion to adjourn. No, we need our next meeting. Oh, excuse me. We're almost done. Almost done. May 8th. May 8th. May 8th. Uh -huh. Our next meeting. Okay. It is now six fifty-two. Five thirty. Oh yeah. At five thirty. <laughs> I am a full shot. Can you get us in? Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Have a lovely. Do you get? You guys don't do an adjournment roll call? No. No. No.